Alright guys, so it's April 1st, April Fool's Day, of course. The day of the year where when you're on the internet, you really have to pay attention to what you share. You can't just read the headline, you gotta actually read the article to make sure if it's real or not. Because websites will create crazy-ass articles, and a lot of people don't ever read the article, they just read the headline and share it, and the same thing happens with gaming, of course. A lot of it can be satirical and fun, like this Game Revolution article that claims the Final Fantasy VII Remake is moving to mobile. And look, I think I have a decent sense of humor. I can find humor in most things, but it's just like super repetitive just because it happens every single year. I can't even believe April Fool's is still a thing, man. That all being said, we actually have legitimate news for the FF7 remake, and for somebody who's been trying to cut back on the gaming videos, that's kind of all I've been making. We're just winging it. We're just making whatever we want to make these days, I guess. We've learned within the past day or so that Final Fantasy VII Remake is getting a new co-director alongside Tetsuya Nomura. And it's Naoki Hamaguchi who was previously the development leader on the FF7 remake, and I don't know if he was actually like developing the game physically or just leading the team of developers, but now he's co-director. The titles that he's worked on is Final Fantasy XII, which I personally enjoyed, the 13 trilogy, which I and a lot of other people did not like, 14, Mobius, the mobile game, and then now the 7 remake, of course. So him becoming a co-director is interesting, I'll say. It's not I'm not gonna say it's good or bad because I don't, you know, I don't know the guy's skills, I can't judge the guy really. The reason why I say it's interesting is because you have a lot of people coming back that actually worked on the original Final Fantasy VII coming back to work on the remake. And you have a guy here who didn't join up with Final Fantasy and Square Enix until Final Fantasy XII, and he's now a director, a co-director on the project, even though he's never directed a game before, at least in his credits. So I don't know if him being a co-director is going to be good or bad for the game itself. I don't know how much influence he's really going to have as a co-director. And I feel like they're just doing it to help take some of the pressure off of Tetsuya Nomura. Because that guy's always like the director and lead developer and other things on a lot of games at one time. And he's probably got other things he's doing right now. Even though FF7 Remake is supposed to be the priority after Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, he's they're still doing like DLC and stuff coming out for Kingdom Hearts 3 at some point. He's got to be like working on that, I imagine, as well. And that's going to come out before this game ever comes out. My only real worry, I suppose, and I don't really have any grounds to be worried, because again, I don't know the guy's talents or whatever, is that I don't know how I feel about somebody who didn't even work on the original game being a co-director. You're talking about remaking from the ground up one of the most iconic games of all time, one of the most popular games out there, and I just don't know how I feel about that. And especially if he's going to be like directing this game when Tetsuya Nomura is out there working on other projects. Again, some guy who's probably played a lot of Final Fantasy VII, but didn't actually work on the game initially. But at the same time, maybe a kind of younger developer, and I mean that just because he didn't start till 12. He'd, again, been there 13 damn years. Maybe a younger kind of developer, fresh set of eyes, might be a good thing for the game. Either way, it's April. We're finally getting some information for the FF7 remake. This is the month we're sp supposedly supposed to get some big information leading up to E3 for the remake. That's the rumor speculation. But this is kind of the first bit of info we've actually received for the game. We've done a few videos in 2019, but they've kind of been rumor and speculation based. And maybe with the announcement of a new co-director, this will kind of get the ball rolling on us getting some actual information on the FF7 remake. And maybe they made Naoki Hamaguchi the co-director so that they, they can actually get shit going with the game. Because it's kind of been doing nothing and been stagnant for four years and Tetsuya Nomura is always working on something else. Maybe they need somebody there at Square that's focused on just the remake. And maybe So again, this could be really good information for us. Anyways, kind of a shorter video, but we cover whatever we can about the FF7 remake. So there you have it, a new co-director on the project. Hopefully we start seeing stuff this month for the game. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at TheDashingDavid. At my Discord. The links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.